Hey there, it's Coach Jen Wiederstrom, and I have in front of me the five most asked questions about my carb cycling program. And I'm gonna start with number one, and then we're gonna rapid fire these suckers. Can I still eat what I love? Yes, and I understand why you asked that question because I'm that way, I'm a Chicago girl, I'm never giving up pizza, I'm never giving up you know, pasta, I'm never giving up beer, but what I do teach you is in the high carb and low carb days, I assign you macros, and macros guys are your proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, there's only three macros. So within each day, I assign you those boundaries and then you can play with whatever you want. It's a big sandbox that give you, you play within it. So if you want pizza or donuts that day, all you have to do is make sure you stay within those macros and you're in the clear. <laughs> this one was my favorite one. What if I'm no good at counting macros? Okay, by the way, guilty. I'm not someone that's the best at this, but here's a couple things to keep in mind. One, I have built a calculator in the program so you can input your numbers and everything spits out for you. So the program, the math, it's all done for you. Number two, there are free apps out there that help you track as you go within your day. So don't worry about that. Other things will do the math for you there. But when it comes to this, this is a learning process. So all you have to do is take it step by step, meal by meal, and before you know it, you actually won't have to keep counting. You'll be able to eyeball what belongs in your meals. So anyway, don't worry. You don't have to be an expert in math. Okay, jumping in. Next question is, do I have to cook every meal? Okay, the answer is no. I certainly do not cook every meal. But what you must do is when I assign the calories and the macros within each day, you just have to know what's in what you're eating so you can track it. That's all. So if you're ordering out, um, if you um, are having someone make you food, at this point even just delivering you food, right? All you need to do is make sure you take the time to look at how much of each thing you're eating, what the calories and macros are within it, and you'll be good to go. Cooking is always great because it's a little bit easier to track, but it's not necessary. Listen up all you vegetarian vegans. Yes, I repeat, yes you can do the carb cycling challenge if you are a vegetarian or vegan. It's very exciting because as I've said before, it doesn't matter how you source the calories or the macros, right? The proteins, fats, and carbs. I just want you to stay within the lane that I've given you. So if you're vegan or vegetarian, you source from what you are willing to eat and are interested in eating in the, within the categories that I give you, and you're gonna be great. Okay, this one upset me a little bit because I'm sensitive, but many people ask this one. Will Jen help me if I get stuck? Guys, yes, of course, this is what I'm here for. I have put this challenge together in a way that I can teach you how to do this so you're independent with the information and knowledge. But if you get stuck, if you get confused, if you're just not sure what's going on or you're, you're at a kind of a stopping point mentally or physically, this is where I come in. I host live office hours every other week. I've got weekly emails going out, video coaching, and of course you can email me. So yes, uh, as your coach of the challenge, I will actually be coaching you through it. So I've got your back and I hope this is helpful. Okay, that was fun. I hope to see you again soon and go to weedastrong.com to sign up for all things Jen and I can keep you in my loop or else Hank will come after you. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha